Okay. All right, this is a continuation of a battle Doug and I started a number of weeks ago. This is the Battle of Hosh, 20, 20 June 1622. So I should start, I would look for the game. Is it? Uh, it's not up yet, I'm just bringing it up. Okay. All right, what's okay. up? Room's open. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh -huh. And we have a game board. All right, time to zoom in a little bit here. Oh, the situation's changed a little bit. <laughs> Over time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it has that. Okay, looks like we got one left. One left. Okay. And we've just just finished turn six. Mm -hmm. And ready to start turn seven. And the bridge is open. Right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flip all the markers. Okay. And move to turn seven. It is 2 p.m. Okay. And we should all be good. Okay. Ready to go. All right. So you uh, you have a wing under charge. Mm-hmm. And this side, I might change his order here. Maybe not. I got somebody to clear up. What do, you, what do you got here? Okay, so I guess I gotta I gotta clean finish cleaning the city up here. Yep. So first thing I'm gonna do is fire some artillery. We'll start with this. Start with a 12 pounder and. Hex 1713, and he'll fire, I guess, at the, that's probably the only target is the Musketeers down here, and yep. 2113, one, two, three, four right. away. They are in the redoubt. Right. So, so hang on here a second. Let me bring up these rules again. I think this is a minus two redoubt, isn't it? Or? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah, but. Let me just make sure I've got that terrain effects chart here since we need the actual book. All right, so that is um, the, yep, Hoxt Redoubt. It is minus two to fire combat. Okay, so the range is uh, four, and that's a zero, so it looks like the overall is going to be a minus two. Yeah. Okay, minus two with the 12 pounder. And it, uh, two. Uh, two. That's clean, a miss. Clean miss. Okay, let's see how. Yep, it's a miss. How the three pounder at the same target. Okay. Yep. It would be a minus three total. Yeah, minus three. Minus one for the uh, mm -hmm. range and minus two for the redoubt. And boy. Yeah, no luck on guns today. And we might as well fire at these uh, light troops here with, a, with this a four pounder. Yep, four pounder range of three. Mm -hmm. And they're minus three. Yep, zero for the range and three for the redoubt. Yep. Redoubt and city. Let's see what they do. Ah, gem at Christmas. Yeah. Oh, I might have one more target. I think it, the 12 pounder in 1517. Yep. Has that a direct, guy, direct shot that of the musket. Uh, he could, both of he them could hit those guys in the center. Yeah. I think. Damn it. Yeah. So I think both of those artillery guys had the same target on the same musketeers. 
Uh, yeah, the musketeers in, in the trench there by by uh, Christian. Yeah, and then the other one's going to have to go to the one north of him. The, what the yeah, let's do that one first. First twelve pounder. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a minus one. So it's a minus three total. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Yep. Minus three. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Guns uh, are are not working today. Okay, and this other twelve pounder, he'll he'll have his, he's just going to do the straight shot down to uh, yep twenty one fourteen. And he, he, right. Yeah, so range of six. Yep, that's going to be oh so twelve so pounder. That's a minus, zero. So it's a minus so two. It's a minus two. <laughs> Let's get all those low dyros out early. Yeah, I I guess your gunners are uh, they all took they all took time for a break and uh, had some ale or something. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's see what else? all of them. Is. Right, that guy's running. That's, that guy's running off. Tilly's here. Okay. Okay, so first we'll move this guy to that spot. And then we're going to, I guess you. I'm going to rotate him. Am I rotating the right? No, I'm rotating the wrong way. Okay. Okay. That's all moving. And this, the uh, uh, large unit, the, the large double stacked uh, infantry unit behind Tilly in six, 1816. Yeah, he, he's going to change formation, or can can he change formation in charge? Right uh, yeah, he can change formation. Oh, he's going to that going to that open order. Or is it, I got to be in column to cross the bridge, don't I? Uh, let's look that up. I think that's the case. Um, well, it, it, it makes sense because if you can't do that, yeah, I you can't do a double. A, I'm trying to remember how this works, but we'll just look it up. Okay. There is, because I can remember reading it. I just don't remember. Since he, since he can't do anything else right now. All right. Bridges. Any unit that is not a two hex heavy infantry unit may enter a bridge hex or cross a bridge hex normally and may initiate close combat from a bridge hex or across a bridge hex side if otherwise allowed. If a two hex heavy heavy inf uh, heavy infantry unit is in column or routing, it may cross a bridge as if it were another road hex or hex side, except that it may not end an activation in a bridge hex or straddling a bridge hex side. If not in column, and one of the rules about column, this My is goodness. why I had this question. The only way you can go into column is to start the scenario in column. So if not in column, a two hex heavy infantry unit uses the following to cross a bridge hex or hex side. The My unit's God. formation must be formation normal or open order. The unit must start the activation adjacent to the bridge hex side or hex with the bridge in one of its front hexes or hex sides. The unit then uses its whole movement allowance to cross the bridge and ends up on the other side such that the bridge is in one of the unit's rear hexes or hex sides. In essence, it squeezes across the bridge. It maintains the same facing after the crossing, and the other hex it ends up in must be one it could enter in normal movement. 
After crossing, a formation normal unit becomes formation broken. A two hex infantry unit may initiate combat across a bridge hex side or bridge hex against an enemy unit on the other side, but is considered to be formation broken during close combat. If victorious, it may not advance across the bridge following the movement rule. It may advance across the bridge following the movement rules and restrictions. So that makes sense. No, you don't have to go into column, but what you're basically doing is you're you're going up to the bridge mm -hmm. and then everybody's breaking formation and squeezing across the bridge and then you have to end up on the other side in formation again, but your formation broken. Okay, so right now that two devil guys staying right next to the bridge hex, right? Uh, the one that's morale shaken. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm probably it, like, if I did, if I used him, uh, he, <laughs> you could, because the bridge is in one of your frontal hexes. Yeah, but his formation shaking. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Uh, well, you're going to end up formation broken. No matter what, right? No matter what. You're also morale shaken. And the problem you're going to get into is I don't see that you actually have the room. Because you end up facing the same direction. So he's going to end up facing. Yeah, he's right. He's, he needs to wait till he changes so yeah, you, you would have your flank to that hex that Christian is in. Mm -hmm. And and I don't see that there's room. That's the other problem. I don't see how you could, because you can't end sitting on the bridge. I don't think there's any way. In, well, see, that's why, Okay. Even, so, even if he was around the other way, he, he's never going to be able to sit on the bridge after he finishes. Right. He can't sit on the bridge. That's exactly right. The bridge has to be in one of his rear hexes. I don't see how, how you ever have a two hex guy to do that. Well, why, why couldn't he? I mean... He uses his entire movement allowance mm -hmm. and ends up in the hex past. Right. Well, that's what I think. I thought you were. Th I thought I was understanding that you said I couldn't do that. I mean, just it's just for fun of it. I'm not going to do right, it. Right. No, no, right. But now. here's the problem. There's no it, the way he's facing. Uh -huh. There's no room. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna move him just to show you. Okay. Okay. So let's say he moves. Mm -hmm. He can't end up like that. Well, that's, that's what I was getting at. How how's he ever going to have one hex in, on the bridge? Well, he can't have one hex on the bridge. But I thought he has to. No, he can't have one hex. Oh, on the he has to. He has to be over. He right. He <laughs> he would have to be like that. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I'm following. I thought it was. I thought it was okay. saying you had to end with one hex on the bridge. No, he has to end with the bridge hex in his rear. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I'm... Which is the other problem. Mm -hmm. He can't actually even do that. He has to do that. That's what he would have to do. Because the bridge hex has to be in his rear. Mm-hmm. So that's the only way he could do this is to end up like that. And then he would also be formation broken. Well, he couldn't, he couldn't, uh, come across and then changes for change. Do that. No, he, he ends up in the same formation facing the same direction. Okay. So no matter what that, when anybody, when any, when any of these guys comes across a bridge, that's that was the only place they're going to be able to go. Well, no. Because if all oh, right, so well, okay. let's if they started their formation like this, right, it'd be different. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. If he if if he was 
facing the right direction, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, if, if, if he were like that, then he ends up like that. Mm-hmm. Well, he could and be that's there. okay. Not, not, not if on the river. Well, he can move on the river. He's just formation oh. broken again. Well, is it all an additional formation broken than crossing the bridge? In I, I mean, formation broken is formation broken. Yep, okay. All righty. I mean, he could theoretically be like that. I mean, he's going to end up with one mm -hmm. side. Uh, I mean, it's just a tough crossing. Yeah. Okay. I I just want to figure. Right. I, so, in other words, I, he's not I, he's not going to be coming across a bridge right now. No, not from the direction that he's sitting. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, you're pretty much going to have to. That's a good exercise, though. Because. Yeah. I, I mean, that single hex infantry unit that's under Tilly mm -hmm. could cross. And that starts to clear stuff up. Once you get that other musketeer out of the way, then mm -hmm. um, Holmhausen or Heimhausen could move forward yep. and would be in a position to cross. Now, when he does that, yeah, he's going to end up with one hex in, what is that, 2117. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. I mean, that's how he has to do it. Yep. Okay. And he's going to be formation broken. So, yeah, forcing forcing that crossing with a two-hex infantry unit is just going to tear up your formation. There's no way around it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, let's, let's go. Uh, let's see, I don't think I don't have any more movement. I don't know how many. Sh yeah, I got this guy running. Now, the one thing you're going to have to do, well, not necessarily. I was going to say that one infantry unit that's underneath Tilly, because you are in charge. Mm -hmm. he, changed from, he, he changed direction. Okay, so he's facing that musketeer. Yep. So I, that's, what I, that's what I did for movement. You turned him. Yeah, but you, your musketeer, well, I guess your musketeer has a shot at the uh, heavy for reaction if he wants to take it. When he moved up. Uh, which, he the two hex? Yeah, the one that's in, uh, the one that's right north of him, because he moved there. Oh, then he's formation shaken. Because he moved into the redoubt area? Yeah, because he moved into those trenches. Okay. Yeah, he, ta he takes formation hit for that. Okay, well, he's formation shaken now. Well, this is real interesting. I just got texted by TurboVote. TurboVote? What's that? It's some kind of online service <laughs> that that I signed up for to, to you know be reminded about voting, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And now I know that I checked like less than a month ago to be sure that I was registered. Because mm -hmm. I've always been registered. Mm -hmm. And it's now coming up and saying they checked official public records and saw that you might not be registered to vote. So if I find out that the state of Indiana has dumped me off the voting records. But they, have, they have to have a reason, don't they? They're Republicans. They don't have to have reasons. I can't imagine that I'm. Well, I, I didn't think Indiana had their stuff available for somebody to go scan and. Oh, it's public records. Right. They have to. So, since we're here, let me check my voting status. Where do you go to do that? IndianaVoters.in.gov. I've never, I mean, I've been registered. I've never rechecked. I've ever had. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, I, you know, I've been registered, but I always check just to be sure because 
you know, they're going through and purging people off the rolls for no reasons. So let me go in and look. Okay, I probably went there. I am registered to vote in Hamilton County, so Turbo Vote doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. So is, what? Is, what is it now? Indi uh, Indiana Voters. In gov. All Indiana Voters is all one word, right? Yep, all one word. Dot in dot gov. Yep. Okay. Check your registration record. First. I'm sure the people watching this are thrilled that we're talking about voting, but <laughs> yeah, but it's important because we, we that way we can give more time to uh, gaming. To gaming, <laughs> right? Before well, before we freak out. Oh, my birth date. Mm -hmm. uh, while you're looking at that, I'm gonna shoot at you. Oh, uh, we that uh, musketeer. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. But he misses. Okay. Oh, I know what. It... Yeah, it would help if it put, put the right year frame was born <laughs> instead of the current year. Yeah, yeah, that, that's probably useful. Now you got me nervous. Well, that's, you know, I, that's why I checked it, because I don't trust these people anymore. They're going through and, and absolutely clearing people off voting rolls for no clear reason. Okay. <laughs> it found it. Good. Okay, see what I can't remember. See my when I when I, when I got my driver's license coming back back in the, when I first moved to Indiana. Yeah. They 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 did the BMV wouldn't allow to have a space between the van and the hoose. Oh. Uh -huh. But 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 the voter voter right. registration I was allowed to put a, a space. So when I first was checking, I I, I was first thinking because I didn't realize I put the wrong the year wrong year for my birth date. So now yeah, I'm showing in Hamilton County registered, all registered, ready to go. Well, that's good. That's good. Welcome. Oh, for voter, vote, what's a voting portal? For Why would you need a two-factor authentication? Welcome back. That's, did you yeah, so I, I guess so. Nobody can log in and remove your registration. Oh, click here. Protect your vote, two-factor. Another way to keep your information secure is a form of... You know, change, get log in and, you know, train... Yeah. Submit a change of address or something like that, or that the, yeah, okay. Request a bogus absentee ballot or something. Uh -huh. I guess I'll have to go back, come back here, and set up two-factor authentication. Oh boy, it's just another thing everybody has to do. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. I okay. know. Okay, so you I missed. Know. You missed. Yep. I missed. Okay, well, I'll start off with this uh, musketeer, the him fire to your musketeer. Okay. So. Nice. He's got a strength of three. Mm -hmm. So he's plus two to the die roll, but minus three. So he's a minus, minus one. Minus one. Hits on an eight or nine, minus missed. one. He missed. Yep. Okay, so then the infantry under Tilly. Which is a, has a, he's a nine, eight. Right. So he's a, yeah, he's a, well, it doesn't matter because he's heavy infantry. But, he, but he's minus one because of the, he's already, he has an inherent minus one. Yeah, he's a, an inherent minus one. Actually, he's a single hex infantry unit. Right. So he takes a 
minus one for each casualty point. So that's a minus two. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he's a minus three for the trenches. I mean, even though he's in the trenches, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. All right. So he's minus six. No, minus five. Five. Minus five on the heavy infantry table uh, yep. flank. Oh, no, front. 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 He's going to the front, yeah. Yeah. Did it do again? Another four? Another four. Okay. Minus five. Yeah, that, that's a nothing. Okay, so then the uh, the double 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 hex heavy yep. infantry. Okay. He's going to get two shots. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a minus three. Mm-hmm. He has no, has, uh, but he's a, and but he's he has, a minus five. He's a formation shaken. And, yeah. Plus he's, he has that bind, inherit minus one. Did you already get that? Uh, no. So that's a minus six. Uh, minus, yeah, minus six. Mm-hmm. Minus six, the first shot. Nine, three. A three. So that is, one. that would be a hit. Mm-hmm. One. And except I'm going to duck. Okay. And then the next one. And that was a miss. Which means I can't fire back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know, light infantry and congested terrain like that is... Uh... Well, this, this is going to be a big... Big, it, this could be a, a, a mess. If I, if I screw up this di- next die row in the close combat, it could be all over. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Um, I, I think the, right. uh, the single infantry that has no, it's not formation, will be the lead unit. The one till is okay. All right. So, all right, so we've moved into close combat. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go close combat tables. And we, we, we first say that one would be the lead unit with support from I mean, all, all, the, all, the, all the guys around is going to come in, too. All right, so you've got the two hex infantry unit. Mm-hmm. And you've got the musketeers. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure that lead unit makes a difference here, does it? I didn't know. I don't think so. No, I mean there are other games that we play where it does, but I wasn't sure. You, I wasn't sure. That, that yeah, you, you've just got all those guys in there. Yep, they're all coming in until he's coming in with his sword out swinging. <laughs> well, this could be bad for Tilly depending on how this goes. But, Break off. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that it's going to be ugly so for any attacking defender lead leader only one can be used so you're going to use tilly Mm -hmm. and you're the attacker so that's a plus two Mm -hmm. um morale differential so you got a seven you got a five and an eight and an eight so the average of that is what six and a half? It's, I think so. I see five, uh, 12, 20 divided by three. Yep, six. Okay. Um, so it's a morale mm-hmm. differential of one. Mm-hmm. So it's a plus three. Plus three. You are certainly at four to one. Mm-hmm. So that's another plus two. So that's a plus five. Mm-hmm. Close combat matrix, you have heavy infantry going up against light infantry. That's a plus seven. Mm -hmm. Um, And you're attacking on a flank and a rear. Mm -hmm. So that's two more. So it's a plus nine. Mm -hmm. However... I got one formation shaking unit coming in, so that's yep. A that's a minus one, so that puts you to a minus an eight. Uh huh. Um, I think that's it. And I think that's it. And then the terrain, which is a minus three. Mm-hmm. So that puts you at a plus five. Uh huh. The highest that you can get is a plus, plus four. four. Yep, plus four to the die roll. Yep, so it's plus four to the die roll. 
Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to see an attacker eliminated with a plus four. Right. Here we go. Ten. Oh, that's a ten. That got him. Well, you'd think with that many guys coming in. Yeah, you would hope so. Um, there we go. But he, he he did a good job of holding out to the very end. He sure did. Um, now all those guys take a formation hit. Mm-hmm. And you're going to have to roll leaders on Tilly and the Colonel. I don't think, doesn't somebody have to go go move forward too? And you do have to move somebody forward. And the only way you're going to do that is that single hex is going to have to do that. Mm -hmm. In which case, when you or do the, that, the musketeer could it go? The musketeer? the musket, the musketeer could. Yeah, I'd rather them guys move in. Yeah, the musketeer could. Whoever moves is going to go formation broken. Well, the, the big guy. Well, the, okay, so the, the uh, double-sided double, double infantry, you know, I might have messed up. He was formation shaken, but I moved him to formation broken because of the melee. Correct. Okay, just want to make sure that was right. Yeah, that's right. Now, the musketeer mm -hmm. became formation shaken because of the close combat. Right. But then you moved him into the trench. Mm -hmm. Ah, but he's light infantry, so he doesn't mm -hmm. take the hit. Yep, this is what I thought it might, might be the best. Yep, so he doesn't take the hit. Okay. All right, so that all is right. Now you got to roll for, for leader casualties. First, we'll do Tilly first, and then we'll do the other guy. The okay, so you good unless you roll a nine. <laughs> and that's Tilly. <laughs> All right. So, and, then, and, then, and the colonel? Yeah, roll for the colonel. Colonel's a seven. He's he's fine. Yeah, of course Tilly takes a... All right. So you got to set Tilly on the side, and at the end of the turn, yeah, pretty much you got to roll for leader replacement. Yeah, let's see if he's actually dead or not. Right. I'll put him on, I'll put him on the turn track. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, yeah that could suck. <laughs> those, those musketeers... <laughs> Whoever's oh left God. out of that get they get medals. They they get Oh my god. They get treasure. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I didn't I mean, I don't know. It's okay. That's okay. Well, I, I mean you needed him to get if I'd had it had four. It, if you right. didn't have him, you got it'd four. It'd have been, been plus, plus three. three. Yep. And plus three. Well, six with plus three, I was I would have had the same result, but uh, yep. yeah, yeah. But that chart is too uh, deadly. <laughs> if you don't, it have is it. a deadly chart. I mean, you could have really bad things happen on that chart. Oh well, so I so I rolled really low when I did when I did it in the. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, that's 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 the breaks. Okay, so we're going to try for a continuation. We got some cleanup to do here. I better slow down here, too. I would do a continuation. Okie doke. And a continuation. Uh, in charge is a 0 to 3, and you don't have any leader benefit. Nope. 0 to 3. And you're not a cavalry wing, so it's 0 to 3. Nope. Nope. Yeah. He is finished. So, when we get to the end of this turn, we're going we're gonna to have to... Uh, Check to see whether it's going to be worth continuing because I, that, that might, I might not even ever be able to get enough points after losing him. That's, yeah, pretty rough. After that, both, could be pre that could be pretty rough. Because well, I've already lost the other leader. I'm not sure. I can't remember how many points he was. Ah, and Holt. Yeah, we'll have to go look and see because they, uh, let's, well, let's just look real here real, real closely because they, uh, we determined this doesn't seem to have any special, mm -hmm. um, it, it, it doesn't have any different victory point totals. Right. Like um, like the uh, English Civil War game mm -hmm. has. Right. This just seems to be using the standard ones from what I can see. So, yeah, it's using the standard ones. So let's go look at the standard victory point totals. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Give me a minute here to actually find. Mm -hmm. All right. So. An army commander is uh, 20. Okay. That's... And a wing commander is five times his rating. So Anholt was, is rated a he's... negative two. So, so he's 10. There's 30 he's points. 10. So there's 30 points there. Mm -hmm. Um You've not lost anything else but musketeers in terms of full units, mm -hmm. um, which neither have I. We've all just lost musketeers, light infantry. Mm -hmm. um, so you've lost thirty points. How much is and it? how much is that? The how much is the cavalry? Because your cavalry is going to be off here in a minute. Yeah, that's what we got to look up here. I'm not trying to end the game, but it might be that something not working. No, but I mean, you're right. I mean, if you can't win, mm -hmm. then there's mm -hmm. no point in continuing. Yeah, I hate to send those guys into, to their death across the bridge for no reason. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, which, which is effectively, I mean, that's kind of what ended up happening. Mm -hmm. Is now the Catholic horse did get. I should have played those guys a little bit. I should have changed their formation earlier. Did I lose you? No, I'm still here. I'm just okay. scrolling to get to the... Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, hotched. Let me get to the... I'm sorry. I, I probably scrolled the wrong direction. Oh, no. I'm scrolling the, the manual to look oh, at oh, Vic, oh. Victor. I'm trying to find out if... Mm -hmm. If if Tilly goes... <laughs> let's, let's, let's understand what the victory looks like here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It might not okay. even point wise, you know, but, but yeah, you know, I'm with you. <laughs> All right. So, might wow. Be, this, might, be, might be a short game tonight, guys. <laughs> um, This kind of looks like. Wow. You're in deep shit. Is it is uh, how this works. Mm hmm. Um. To even get a draw, you have to have between 101 to 150 more victory points. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's... Okay, so here's... Here's how the victory points go. Additional victory points. In addition to the standard Musk and Pike battle system rules for victory points, both players may receive additional victory points in the following ways. Key positions. Oh, and we forgot this because you have these. You have oh. one of these already. Okay. Um, 1917, Sosenheim Village is worth 15 victory points. Okay. Oh, and the bridge is worth 15. Too. And the bridge is worth 15. And the redoubts are worth 10 each. Mm -hmm. Prominent leader, Duke Christian of Braunschweig, was a prominent Protestant leader and opponent of the Habsburg emperors, and his loss would have been a serious blow. Uh, therefore, he is worth 10 victory points if eliminated. Because otherwise, he'd only be worth ten mm -hmm. times two, two, five times his rating, which is five times zero is mm -hmm. zero. Mm -hmm. But he's worth ten. Um, oh, so if I get, if I take the bridge and that, then we're it's even even up at that point. It's thirty, but yeah, the problem with this is right. So, but, um, but I still got to kill a bunch of guys in addition. Yeah, to you you don't have. Now, the way that you get some of this is <coughs> the Hotched Bridge Box. Mm -hmm. Both players may move units off the map between hexes 3505 and 3515, inclusive, into the Hotched Bridge Box. 
place the units of both sides that exit into a stack in the Hox bridge box in the order exited. The conditions for obtaining the additional VPs and the number of VPs awarded vary by side. Um, any casualties on units that have exited do provide VPs for the opponent as usual. Starting on the Hoxed, starting on the turn the Hoxed Bridge is open per Special Rule 9, and not before, the Protestant player may start moving units off map into the Hoxed Bridge box. The Protestant player earns 15 VPs at the end of the game for each Protestant cavalry unit of either type <laughs> and each heavy infantry unit of either size so exited. Dang, they're worth a ton of points. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of points there. The Catholic player, having said that, you can move them off there too. Um, however, only units exited on or before game turn 15 earn VPs. The Catholic player earns 30 VPs at the end of the game for each Catholic cavalry unit of either type and each heavy infantry unit of either size so exited. So you earn twice what I can earn. So what about the Netter River box? Is it already... We're getting there. Oh, okay. In addition to the above, if the Catholic player exits at least two units into the Hoxt Bridge box before the Protestant player does, the Catholic player earns an additional one-time award of 80 victory points. Design note, this represents the very serious impact the sudden early arrival of enemy troops would have had on the weakly defended bridge site. Um, so that, that you can't, you're, you're not going to get there, but all right. The Nidda river, the Catholic player may move cavalry units off the map of between hexes 3518 and 3526 inclusive into the Nidda river box. If he moves at least two such units into the box, he receives VPs for the turn that the second unit enters the box according to the following schedule. Additional units provide no additional VPs. So you got to get two of them off. Mm -hmm. Place the units on the turn record track in the box for the turn the second one exits as a reminder when calculating VPs at the end of the game. In turns 1 to 5, you get 30 victory points. 6 to 10, you get 20. 11 to 15, you get 10. And 16 to 18, you get nothing. That's only two units, though, right? Yeah, it's, it uh, well, it, that's the total VPs. Uh -huh. you, you don't get you don't get twenty for each. Right. You get twenty. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to get two off. And that's the deal. And so where that ends up is if you. Uh, the victory conditions are 201 VPs or more for the Catholic player is a decisive Catholic victory. 151 to 200 is a marginal Catholic victory. 100 to 150 is a draw. 51 to 100 is a marginal Protestant victory. <clears throat> and 50 or less is a decisive Protestant victory. So right now, assuming, you know, Tilly, if Tilly dies, mm -hmm. then you're at decisive Protestant victory right now. The only way you're going to get higher than that is uh, get get units to you got to get you got to get guys off this bottom map edge and into mm -hmm. the Hawks bridge box. Mm -hmm. And you got to get enough of them to outweigh the cavalry wing that I'm about to throw through there. Yeah. Now you still got a lot of turns. Yeah, I can't remember this this small the small river that goes 
follows the road is that crossable or is it is in the netter river? yeah that's that's part of the but Sulzbach. The, yeah but the netter river is the one you can't cross you can't cross the netter okay that's what but I mean. the Sulzbach you can cross it just has those rules about mm -hmm. you know that you, you got to stop right and the formation hits it's the same as what's screwing with your spaniards up here mm-hmm but we don't know that Tilly's dead yet. Right. So let's keep on going. Okay. Um, so. I got one to make ready and one in rally. So that's my, my own. Yeah. So the next guys up are the make ready guys. Okay. So you, have, that's, that's, you don't have anybody to make ready, do you? No. All mine are in receive charge. Okay. Let's see what the, what's the formation of this guy here. Okay, so the guy, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, let's rally with theater, reform, make, make ready. Okay, reform. Okay, so the uh, cavalry units underneath uh, my leader here, Schulzberg, mm -hmm. is going to change to open order. Okay. Mhm. Mm yeah, the Schulzberg mm -hmm. SEAs. Okay, they're going to open order. Yeah, we're special formation. There we go. Okay, he's in open order. Okay. All right. And the rest of these yahoos will this guy here will so the guy's in open order that ended his move. That's one. Right. Two. I think that's for he'll hold. Yeah, if he crosses that. Yeah, he'll, right. He, take a formation he, hit. Yeah, I need. I'm just going to have to try to build this. Fix that. Okay. The, the hedges, I, I, keep, I don't know if we had this question before. Hedges don't block distance for control, do they? For being a No, no, uh -uh. no. Okay. I can't get any closer to that guy here, okay. So we'll rotate for one. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Yep. <laughs> I'm just trying to get myself around. I'm probably going the wrong. He was facing this the other way. So that was two, three, four. And we'll rotate one more time. No, wrong way. Five. Um, he can't do that? He's formation shaken. Yeah. Oh, okay. He can't move. So he's only got half the movement. He's only got four movement points. Okay. So that was one, two, three, four. Right. Okay. And the rest of these guys are going to stay where they're at for now. Okay. Well, no. Let's see here. One guy will move here. Yeah. This guy will move here. Get myself a little bit closer. Okay, so he's going to try for a continuation. He hasn't been very lucky this game. Okay, make ready continuation zero two. is zero to two. Nope. Nope. He's done. All right. So now 
uh, we're over into my receive charge guys. Mm -hmm. and we'll go ahead and activate. Um, Christian will activate his center, his wing. Mm -hmm. And we'll start with artillery fire. So the uh, 12 to 24 pounder can't really shoot at anybody but those musketeers, but we'll shoot at those musketeers. So it's a range of two. 12 to 24 pounder is a zero. And you're in marshy stream. which is nothing on fire combat. So it's just a regular roll. And he completely misses. Yeah. He so miserably misses. It's a, I think, I think all the artillery guys are from the same union. Yeah, they probably are. Cause they're not oh actually gosh. really even, I mean, they're just contractors. They're clearly getting paid by the amount of gunpowder they burn. Yeah. My gone. Uh, definitely. Not damage, that's for sure. No. Definitely not. All right. So, so now this guy's formation shaken. Oh, boy. What to do? What to do? Okay, well, I guess what we'll do is um, I'm going to go ahead. Well, let's see. I don't think you can move units through other units, can you? No, I don't think so. No, because you can't violate stacking at any point. So I can't move him through those musketeers. Well, Kukler, I got bad news for you, buddy. All right, so Kukler is going to... One, two, three. Oh, he's being sent back in. Get in there, buddy. Um, nothing like a delaying action. Mm-hmm. And... And I'll go ahead and I'm going to move Christian there as well. Um, and then <laughs> okay, I don't see any reason to move anybody else at this point. So I'm going to try for a continuation. Okay. Uh, didn't make ready. That's a whopping zero to two. Or receive charge, it's a zero to one. I'll be damned. 
all right. So in that case, Christian's going to go ahead and reform this guy. And I think that will probably be enough. Yeah, go ahead and mark him finished. Okay. Um, now we'll go ahead and activate this cavalry, Dyrum's cavalry wing. And I need to think about this a minute. Okay. All right, so activating Styrum's Cavalry Wing and... And why you got to do this? Why you got to do this stuff to me? There we go. How about a little rear guard action there? Yeah. Because um, you're still going to get the same victory points if you wait a few turns. Exactly. It doesn't matter when... I mean, all they got to do is move one hex. Right. You and they a, go into that. But isn't that before the turn 15, right? Or on turn 15? No, that's you. Okay. That's you. I can go pretty much any turn, I believe. Okay. Uh, Protestants, 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 Protestants. Yeah. Um, on the turn that the bridge is open. After that, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, but you have to get your guys um, before game turn 15. Which is still a long way off. Right. Okay, so uh, Styrum is finished. No reason for him to do anything else. All right, now the complicated situation here. Who are you, who are you activating now? The only wing I have left, which is Carpsal. Carpsal. Well, I was just moving the screen, so. <laughs> We're on there. So, Carpsal. He's received charge. Yeah, he's received charge. What? I, so, I know, if, like, make ready, I can't get within one hex of you, but what is, what is received charge? Does it have the same kind of rules or different? Yeah, rules? same deal. I can't move adjacent. Mm hmm. Um, even worse, I can only move one hex. That's true, yep. Um, 
and I can't move adjacent to an enemy unit. So I think what I'm actually going to do now, the, the, the benefit of receive charges, they can reform without a leader. Right. Uh, units can reform on their own. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and try and change orders for him from make ready or from receive charge to make ready. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, basically a zero to five. And he does. Okay. He is. Gives you a little bit more mobility. Yeah. Which at this point we could use. All right. So what we're going to do then is we're going to start over here. And this guy um, is going to do an about face, which costs him two. Okay. Well, he'll do that. One, two. Three, four, five, uh, four, five. Guy is going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Formation hit. And he stops there because he took a formation hit. Okay. And down to here, like so. All right. And we'll try a continuation. Which is a zero to two. Uh, how about well, this Span Spanish guy might try to preempt you? Candy's in rally. Oh, that's right. You can't even do that, Kenny. No. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter. He didn't make it. Okay. All right. It's your dude that's in rally. Okay. Well, first, all the formation. First thing we're going to do is uh, this guy, this musketeer has been uh, absorbing uh, shots. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, was that 21, 12 or 11 or something like that? 21, 11. Yeah, it looks like 20, 21, 11. He's going to reform. Okay. Okay.
and the two uh, horse over here in uh, 2105 and uh, 2106 are going to do the same thing. They're going to reform. And because I reform, I can't move them, right? And mean to me. But it's the, that is my move. Terry says I'm being mean to her. Oh, why is that? Because I asked her to get me a beer. Ah, oh. was it? Isn't your birthday up? Some coming up soon here? Uh, last weekend. Oh, last weekend. Okay. Well, yep. see, see, there is a continuation of your birthday. Exactly. <laughs> I had birthday cake tonight, so. Well, yeah. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Too bad we don't have markers for there that they've. Okay. Just gotta remember, I'm, I've fixed formation on three units, so I can't move them. Uh, you can just mark them moved. Oh, that's right. We do have marked move. Forgot yeah, about just that. hit it. Just highlight them and hit M. Yep, I am. There we go. I forgot that we had that nice little thing. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Then I guess we're going to start. I suppose this guy is. Uh, okay. The uh, double sided, double sized unit here in uh, 2109, he's going to change his formation to open order. He's sitting right on the river right now. Mm hmm. Did I do that? Mm hmm. I did do it. Yeah. I, d I didn't see it pop up. Okay, there we go. There you go. So he changed his formation to open order. Okay, now I'm going to try to move the rest. Oh, he should be marked move. Oh, let's move him. Marked move, okay. Yep. Okay, now let's see here. Okay, so I got to have this light infantry up here in 1912, but he, he can only move one hex right now currently because of the trouble. Yeah, he will have to expend all of his movement. To move one hex. To move one hex. All right, so he will move there. Okay, and we will take this musketeer it's in twenty one ten and move him one. And then I think the. Uh, same thing here with the guy. Okay, the, the guy, the uh, double-sided unit in 1908. He only has can only move one, also, right? Because he's going to move into the river. Correct. Okay. But because he's open order, he doesn't take the formation. Yet. Right. Right. That's you know, that's the important thing. Okay. Then he moved. He moved. And I guess what we'll, we'll do is we'll take the uh, cavalry. It's in open order. And uh, well, he's not cavalry. The yeah, Crassier. Crassier's in 2006, and he's going to move into 2107 and stop. Hmm. And the other Crassier will move up one. Yeah, that's actually an Arcabasur. Ar oh, yeah, he is an Arcabasur. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and I think that's what, that finishes me. Yeah, because he can't do a continuation. Oh, he's finished. He's finished. All right. Well, that puts us at the end of turn seven. So the important thing now is Tilly. So now you need to roll. Mm -hmm. And you want to roll a zero or one. And you did it. <laughs> and, and, and that was the best thing that you could roll. Oh, yeah. So you return him immediately. Mm -hmm. So they, they found him in the rubble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was he was probably unhorsed and groggy, but he's fine. Uh-huh. Okay. That was it. He, he gave us all a scare. <laughs> he did. He did. So Tilly comes back, and he is fine. Okay. What happened, guys? What, what did Lucky I miss? Lucky Tilly. What did I miss? Lucky Tilly. 
All right. Yeah. So, and end of the turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's. Uh, you took the turn marker with you. Oh, I did. Oh my gosh. It's all right. Here we go. Turn eight. Turn seven. Oh. All right. Move to turn eight. Mm-hmm. And fire markers and finished markers and moved. Mm. You got you got to route that guy. Oh yeah, he's he's off the board, I believe. Yeah, he's six is he's off, so he goes to the dead box. He, right? he goes to dead box. Yep. Yep. All right. So turn eight. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So you're you got a unit under charge. Got a wing under charge. Mm hmm. They're a mess, but they're under charge. Yeah. Well, my the colonel's going to activate Tilly until he's moving. Okay. And then the colonel's going to reform the. Uh... Oh, can't he can't do any of that. So you can't do shit. You're under charge. Yeah, only only Tilly can do it. Tilly can do it. Yeah. Well, we're going to try to change orders. Uh, you already activated and moved. Oh, okay. Yeah, son of a gun. You could do it if you get a continuation. Yeah. Well, the only the only person you move is Tilly, though, right? Right. It's all, that's the only thing I moved. Yeah. I mean, no big deal. Try that's, and change orders. Cause I, it, it, yeah, because he's separate from that. He's just moving over there. Yeah, when the wing activates, Tilly... Can, can activate. Uh, activate. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to change orders. And we're going to... All right, to... charge to... What do you want to change to? Let's see here. We're going to we're switch. We're, we're going to go to rally. Get him fixed up here. So it's a zero to five. five. Uh huh. Um. M minus two. Because in the. Because uh... of Tilly. Oh okay. He's adjacent to that wing commander. He sure is. Okay. So yeah. you can use the wing commander's rating and the army commander's rating, but the so, wing commander's a zero. So okay. zero to five. Zero to five minus two. Okay. That'll do it. Without the minus two, you wouldn't have got there, but but there you go. Mm -hmm. Now you're in rally. Change where is that? Oh come on, I gotta get the right unit. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. I was having problems getting to the unit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes clicking is trying to click through these stacks. Mm -hmm. um, I'm playing a little bit zoomed in. It's a little bit easier. Can't see everything at once, but if I need to see everything, I'll just pop up the yeah. Well, I was, I was right the over. overview map. Yep. Okay. So, f so we're going to first we we'll change the uh, fixed formations here all the way around as much as we can. Okay. So he goes to formation shaken to nothing. Then we'll, then we'll, we'll fix the, uh, I can, I can rally and take care of either the, the on this musketeer, either the formation shaken or the morale shaken. Well, you can do a reform action or you can do a rally action. A reform action fixes formation. Mm -hmm. A rally action fixes morale. We're going to do a rally action since I'm in rally. 
And I don't need my leader to do it. Correct. Okay. Go. Yeah. And let's see, what do we got back here? Okay, so we'll do uh, a reform to get him up to a uh, formation shaken. And I think this, I think this last guy over here, we're going to do a, uh, we'll do a rally to get him out of the uh, his uh, morale problem. Well, he can't get out of the rally. He can't ever get out, can he? Nope. He's at casualty threshold, so he can't yeah. ever get better. So he's just going to reform to get rid of his formation yep. checking. Okay. Motion detected at the front door. Motion detected at the front door. All right. Hey, so so I do. I mean, I know we talked about the bridge, but I still need to move them into uh, open order, don't I? To get across, right? Mm -mm. Nope. They just, they just automatically go into it. If if so, let's go look at that again. I know they got to be. I'm, I'm not doing it right now. I'm just trying to. Say they that. don't. They, he he can be in open order or mm -hmm. um, formation normal. If he crosses in formation normal, he becomes formation broken. Mm -hmm. If he crosses in open order, he does not become formation broken. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have to be in formation open open order, but he won't take formation damage if he does. Right. The two hex units. Right, right exactly. The one hex unit, that's just regular terrain effects, mm -hmm. and that is a formation hit. So if you cross a bridge as heavy infantry... Mm -hmm. It costs you two points, and it's a formation hit if you're formation normal. If you're open order, you don't take the formation hit. Mm -hmm. okay. There are, however, relatively significant... Uh, you know, there's some combat penalties for being in open order. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're just going to go around to our, my artillery then at this point. Okay, nope. Yeah, because they, yeah, got... they, they couldn't move closer anyway. They're in yeah. rally. Yeah, I got And I've got to mark these guys as move because they changed their stuff. Okay. So let's go back to these 12 pounders over here in 1713 and. 1714, we're going to shoot at the uh, Musketeers in 2114. All right, the 12 pounders, the other one's a three. Yeah. Let's do the 12 pounder first. He's four away, but he's got a minus two. Correct. Oh, I think we found range this now. Six, yeah. So they did a, it's a 12 pounder on a six is a formation hit. Mm -hmm. And the three pounder is going to be a minus three total. Right. Who? A four on a three pounder is a miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's got he was it was a better than he had room before. Uh, exactly. I mean, it's hard for a three pounder unless you're right up. In his grill to actually hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we have a 12 pounder in 15 16, and he's going to go after uh, the Musketeers in 22 14. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. So it's a minus one. Minus one for that, and then a minus two for the trench. Minus three total. Ooh, four. So 
four on a 12 pounder is a miss yeah, but he's getting he's, he's ranging it in they're dialing it in yeah. okay the, this other 12 pounder and 15 16 is going after the musketeer and straight down the line here in, in 21 14. Okay. one two three that's four six. five six so that's a zero, zero. So it's a minus, minus two. two minus two nope he didn't he nope. Miss. Okay, so that's all you got. Yep, it's all my artillery. I think we're back to uh, going for a continuation. Uh, you're in rally. That's true. That is true. That's the bad thing. Yeah. Now. Uh, yeah. So there's another thing you need to be aware of here. I didn't think about this. Um. There's something about, um, and I don't think it's going to impact you yet, but you have to be careful about how many wings you have under rally. Oh. Because if you have, I think if you have all wings under rally, that denotes abandoning the field. Mm I'm just looking through the rules here. Mm -hmm. All right, surrendering the field. Yes, if all leaders of one side are under rally orders, mm -hmm. then that side is considered to have left the field and the scenario ends. So you got two wings under rally right now. So mm -hmm. just just be aware of that. I didn't want you to... Oh, well, yeah, but the other guys... You know, because, mm -hmm. you, I mean, you could end up in a situation because you're trying to cross all these... Mm -hmm hedgerows where those guys are all torn up and you decide well i'll put those guys under rally too and then suddenly you've got three wings under rally and you're done mm -hmm. okay so what's up thanks since i have okay i'm done so this is my, my make ready guy do you oh you have a make ready guy we're both zeros. uh yeah i have a make ready guy mine's a zero yours is a zero so you go first since i went last right uh, correct. Correct. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and he's going to try and change orders to receive charge. He's currently under make ready. He received charges zero to five. Which he does. All right. So he's in receive charge. Down here. One, two. One. One, two. 
And... Oh, gosh. I believe that guy where he is. All right. Um, and we're going to try continuation. The gender receive charge is zero to one. Okay. And he rolls a three, so he's finished. All right. It's your receive charge, dude. Or your make ready guy, rather. Mm hmm. Okay. First, we're going to first remove the leader. Okay. He moved. So he can't, he can't order anybody to do anything at this point, right? Correct. Yeah, because his action was to move. Mm hmm. Yeah, those guys are gonna stay there. And the guy, the open order guy in twenty two eighteen, mm -hmm. he's moving across. Okay, that was two. Mm -hmm. This was rotating. Three. Four. Four. Make sure I don't want to get too far ahead of it. He can, he can be a three away, so he can move one more. Five, six. He, he should still be in command. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else is going to sit tight, and I guess we're going to roll for a continuation. All right. That's a... Zero to two. Zero to two. Nope. Nine won't do it. Okay. All right. Um, Christian next? I don't know. Yep. Yep. Christian or Styrum, but Styrum ain't going to do much. So, all right. So, Christian is exercising the better part of valor. And move him back there like that. And uh, he didn't want to stay up there. Strangely enough, no. Uh, Lowenstein is going to engage in advancing fire. Like so. Okay. So he's doing advancing fire. But is he on receive charge? Oh, you know what? You're right. So he's not going to do advancing fire. He's going to sit his ass right there because mm -hmm. he can't move adjacent. Yep. Um, so he's going to stay right there mm -hmm. and glare at you guys. Yep. That's basically it's Instead, we're going to have some artillery fire. Okay. Range of two with a 12-pounder. Oh, yeah. We're gonna, so hopefully, we can absorb it again. Well, it's a zero, so... We danced around it. Yeah, I mean, I have to roll at least a five to do anything. So let's see here. And I don't. I roll a four, which is a miss. A miss. And... I think under receive charge, I can reform, right? Yeah, under receive charge, I can reform without a leader. Mm -hmm. So my musketeers... Well, a form. Oh, 
No, I didn't want special formation. All right, so those guys are reformed. And there just isn't much more that we're going to do, I don't think, at this point. Yeah. So, Whoever... Gosh. What's that? I'm just looking because the, that the V in front of that uh, the, the, coming across there, but the way the rather rivers form up. The, oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just a nightmare. It is the the terrain here for the Catholics is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a tough crossing. Um, <clears throat> now, having said that, it doesn't. It's not as bad as it seems. I mean, we're just coming up on the halfway point. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, I know. I just, I just so there's there is actually time here, but the the crossing is tough. Mm -hmm. it, it's absolutely difficult. Um, which is you know like Christian picked it, but um, all right. So Christian's done, and <clears throat> Styrum. He, he's done. We're not going to do anything down here. My cavalry is going to sit there and guard that location. Mm -hmm. So I'm done. So you got your last rally. Wing. Okay. <sighs> okay, the Spaniards. Yeah, they're still slowly doing this. Okay, so we'll start with the Occubusier here that's in that's just sitting in the sitting in the swamp. Or whatever you want to call it. He's gonna he's in a hex twenty two. Well, well let me ask you. Uh huh. You wanna stay in rally? Well, because I wanna get these guys across. So I need to get them to open order first. I guess. Uh yeah, but they don't have to be in Oh, uh, you want to be? You want them to be able to do reform actions, right? Okay, well they can do that and receive charge as well as rally. Oh, yeah, let me check and see here. All right, because I don't have any more rallies that I need to do. I don't have any more rallies. Right, that, that's my point. Is yep. that you? You can do reform actions without mm -hmm. a leader and receive charge. Yep. Which allows you the possibility of still doing continuations mm -hmm. and, and other things. Right, I was forgetting about when that. when you are in rally, you cannot move closer to the enemy, mm -hmm. or or even or in the next one, receive charge. I couldn't either, but that's okay. Receive charge, you can move one hex. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, we're gonna but, try. But rally, I mean, receive charge, you can move one hex that can be closer to the enemy. You mm -hmm. just can't move adjacent. But in rally, you cannot move any closer to the enemy. Mm -hmm. So actually, thinking about it, my guy couldn't have moved. The you you have several units that you moved last turn closer to the enemy that you were not allowed to do, to move. Like that, closer that one to the there. Enemy. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't right there. He, he was, was actually there. there. And, that and guy. then this guy was back there, and was that there. guy was yeah back there. And that was it. And this musketeer. He could was right back there. there. Yeah. And this musketeer moved out of the swamp. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you want to move closer to the enemy, they're going to have to be in receive charge. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. I did, too. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll consider all those guys that uh, going backwards as my movement for them. And I'll, so I won't move them this turn. Oh, no, 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 no. It, we just, we got them reset. They're fine. Okay. Just, I mean... All right. If you're going to change, try and change orders. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do here. And then, and then we'll see if they can move. All right. So it's a zero to three. Changing orders. Nope. All right. So now you're stuck in rally. Mm -hmm. And nobody can move any closer. Yeah, but we we will go ahead and, and reform these guys down here over. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. 
the, these three uh, occupiers and the corsair corsair there yeah yeah right special formation Yeah, and don't forget that Arkabasur, but De Silva, mm -hmm. he's used both pistols, so there's some sense in, you know, you've, you've got a couple more reform actions there, so he can get his pistols reloaded, too, that you need to do. Where is he at? Um, right there on the Sulzbach, he's the A5-6, right next to the guy that you just put in open order. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, De Silva. He's used to both pistols. Which X? Because I'm, because I'm seeing I'm seeing pistols on some of these guys. I'm only seeing pistols used on. I see them on him and on Gaucher. Right. So that's what I was talking about. So I was trying to find out when I had to use both pistols on. De Silva. Gaucher's the A48. Oh, yeah, he's got two crosses on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. De Silva used both pistols. Gaucher used one pistol. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to go to open order right now. We'll have to fix that. Right. I, I'm just saying, at some point, you want to keep that in mind. Don't forget yep. before, you, before you cross to go into combat that those guys don't have any they need to reload, and, mm -hmm. and Arkabasur's in particular, because they're a fire platform, you really aren't mm -hmm. supposed to charge with those guys. I mean, you can, but mm -hmm. they they don't get the same kind of benefit. Yeah. I forgot, these, these, are the two, these two games we're playing right now, giving us the opportunity to reload. That's the... Right. <laughs> Edge Hill, you didn't really have that opportunity. Well, and we... <laughs> We're learning how to use cavalry mm -hmm. that, you know, you, you make contact. Now, the, the problem with Edge Hill is, and this is going to be true for any games mm -hmm. out of that particular module, the British cavalry tend to pursue off the field with, with, you know, it's almost impossible once they've engaged in close combat to keep them from pursuing off the field. Okay. So the, the musketeer I have in, a, in, in 1918, in a 1912, he's just going to change for change facing. He can do that. He's not going to move forward. Yeah, as long as he doesn't move closer. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. Okay, there he goes. He's done. Okay, I think I'm finished. Yeah, they can they can move. They just can't move closer. Yep, I'm finished because he can't. All right. So that's the end of that turn. That puts us at the end of, what, turn turn eight. Flip fired, flip finished, removed, moved. Go to turn nine. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I think uh, we go to the make ready guys. Nobody's in charge. Yeah, nobody's in charge. So it's it's make ready, and uh, you've got the only guys that are in make ready. Okay. Well, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna change formation with the guy. The guy over here in uh, Curse uh, Calvary's in uh, what is it? Twenty-one, twenty-one with my leader. Okay, it's so mark him moved. Okay. And the leaders mark him moved because he did that. Yeah. Cause of the roadblock. I don't want to do that. 
doing? Nah. Whoa, whoa. Nah, what's, what is it? Nah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, we'll try for continuation at this point. All right. Okay, so that's these guys are make ready. So zero to two is what I need, right? Oh, hold on here. Would that help? Nah, that's not gonna. No, I wouldn't do that. Thinking about going into receive charge. No, that's, that's well, that won't help. Yeah, going into receive charge would actually help you. You could reform all those guys. Well, I, I think you get a continuation first. Mm-hmm. They could hang a lot faster than what I'm doing now. Right. And then, then switch back from there. Right. No, I was thinking about moving Tilly down, <laughs> but that's not going to help. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, cause, cause I, because I could, a little bit, but I could, not I could, a ton. I could do that now before now, the, before the continuation is what I'm thinking. Yeah, well, that's not a bad idea because and he can help with the continuation. Um. Yeah, if he's adjacent. Yeah, what's where I want to put him? Uh, adjacent or. See here, see, I think it is he can he be adjacent or does he have to be stacked with? Nope, um, yeah, adjacent or stacked with. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, at least I can one, buy, I two, try, to get, try to get my continuation and get it done this turn. Three, four, five, he can get there, yeah, till he can get there to here. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, he can, he can easily get there. That's five, okay. He's got a movement of eight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go there. Yeah. Now, right. we, now we can ch try for a continuation. Right. And it's what zero to two minus two. Mm -hmm. Or hopefully it's going to work. Hopefully that will work. Yeah. And see, that's how you use an army commander. Mm -hmm. Oh, Missed but it. not good enough. <laughs> Closer. Closer. Yeah. Closer. Okay. So he's finished. All right, so now it's a make ready time. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and activate Carp Zow. I'm going to reform that dude. And I don't think I'm going to move anybody. I'm going to leave them right there. And there's no point in trying a continuation, so he's finished. All right. Um, the Duke. Duke. Yep. Duke Christian. Let's, let's have Duke Duke Chris. All right. First of all, guns. Firing on the Musketeers. Okay. 12, 24-pounder. Boom, a four misses. Okay. Those guys suck. They're really bad. Um, and that is all for Christian. There's no point in him doing anything else but waiting. Okay. It is a run out the clock game for the uh, the Protestants. And our buddy Styrum. He's finished. Nothing for him to do. Fast turns for the Protestants. All right. You got yeah. two rally wings. Okay. And Spanish can't activate Tilly. That's a problem. Uh, They can't. Or they can't. I mean, well, I guess they can, can't they? Hopefully they can. Oh, no. No, 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 they can't. That's, that's right, because they were a separate army. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's in the rules, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Special scenario rules. Yep. Um, let, let's double check that, uh, but I believe you're correct. Yep, Tilly is the AC for the Catholic side, but cannot aid any units or the wing commander of the Spanish right wing. Right. Yep. Which means that Spanish right wing can't activate him. Yeah, he can't. Mm -hmm. Right, he can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
unfortunately, that is the case. Okay. Well, I think I'll that. Well, the first thing he's going to try to do is change to. Uh, yeah, he's going to change orders. <laughs> we're going to change it to. Uh, well, he's got. He's already all in the right order there. Receive charge. He can. He can at least move forward one hex, right? Correct. And that's probably the best from a rally. Oh. Because they can reform if they need to. Mm -hmm. And rally to receive charge is a pretty good roll, if I remember. Uh, uh, it's zero to three. Make ready is a zero to four. That's, what I, that's kind of what I was kind of looking at, the zero to four. We'll go to, yeah. make, we'll, we'll go to make ready first. We can always go back to receive charge. Yeah, and... Because right now, right now I have no need to reform. I just want to get across. Right, the road. and make ready. Make ready actually gives you full movement. Mm -hmm. Now the only problem will be that once you get through there, if you want to get out of open order. Right. Oh yeah. Right. Um, I'll have to go. That's what I was saying. I'll have to go back yeah, to receive charge. You might. You might have to go back to receive charge. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have to go back to receive charge. But that's a zero to five from make ready. Right. Right. Okay, we're going to... Well, we're learning about these orders a little bit better. Yeah, no, well, no, I, this is a great scenario. This is probably <laughs> the best learning scenario. Mm -hmm. There's a This is a complex game in comparison to Edge Hill. Well, I think it's even more complex than what we're playing the big game. Well, it is because, you know, Breitenfeld is a big game, but, but, a, but the, it's there's no terrain. It's just yeah, it, it, I mean, it's a set piece battle. Right. We're, even though we're doing doing a lot of change into rally and stuff to fix her cavalry. Yeah. But... Right. Okay. So we're going to try to go to uh make ready here. Yep. 0 to 4. Probably let's see what maybe. Aha. There you go. Make ready. Ah, uh, you can move. Okay, so these musketeers and uh, where? 1911, 1912 are going to move one ones forward, I guess, and have to stop. Musketeers, and well, you can't move closer to the artillery. No, because he'd be adjacent. He can't do that. He can move into those woods. Yeah, well, he's going to stay where he's at. The uh, musketeers in 2110 are moving one forward. Got a screen. Okay, we'll go over to this far side here. We'll go to the the Akabasiers. And uh, 2206 will move into the woods a little bit further. And stop. Okay. Okay. The Curiosaurs, Curiosaurs in 2105. They'll move one forward and stop. Same with the guys in open order next mm -hmm. to him. De Silva will move one forward. And 2006, he'll move one forward. 19, oh, he'll move one. Well, he can move one. He can move two. And two. How's that? Yep. Okay, the infantry in open order will move one. He can only move one because he's mm -hmm. going to be there. Yep. And then the infantry in 2009 will move across the river. Yep. Bringing the leader. Well, there we go. So the Spanish are finally on the move. Finally, fig they finally figured this out. <coughs> After getting over zealous and going to charge. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now we're going to try for. A continuation. And 
then the continuation, make ready, is uh, 0 to 2. He has no other modifiers, I don't believe. Nope. Correct. Yeah, he doesn't have any other modifiers. No, he's finished. He's finished. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting thing when you think about it, because, you know, how many times have you read about how, you know, so-and-so's division or so-and-so's brigade w was slow to move and, and all this other stuff. Well, I mean, it's taken the Spanish three hours. Mm -hmm. When you actually look at the game clock, yeah, it, it's taken them three hours to get to the point where they're across, you know, they're, they're now finally crossing the stream. Mm -hmm. And you start to see why stuff like that really happened. Mike off. Oh, yeah. Well, the terrain's on. causing it. Leaders, <laughs> the, yeah. uh, the Spanish general who didn't, said, well, I'll, I'll try a charge order. Right, right. Exactly. Oh, I, I, but now, I'm, now I got to get the rally. <laughs> mm -hmm. got to, I got to clean up my formation. My guys are in disorder. And, you know, then then he had a, a failed, a, you know, he, he made an attempt to change orders and he failed at it. So, you know, he didn't have good staff work, which at this point in the 1620s, he mm -hmm. he well, didn't have a staff. It was literally him. him um, and... <laughs> so, so, I mean, you can imagine Tilly's over there sending courier after courier mm -hmm. going, you know, what are you doing? Well, it's, it's, we're, we're having a little communications problems because we got we got a mixed group of Spaniards. Well, that was a real world problem, right? <laughs> um, in, in these armies, and then of course the other thing is that Cordoba's an imperial general, right? He's actually a Habsburg imperial general. Mm -hmm. Tilly, he's a general over the Catholic League. He's not an imperial general. He does not hold his commission from the emperor. Mm -hmm. So Cordoba, who, remember, is the grandson of the most famous Spanish general of the era, probably doesn't have a lot of respect for Tilly. What? <laughs> so, you, I mean, you can see how this stuff happens, right? I mean, this, this really, there's a very interesting narrative here. Mm-hmm. And Cordoba, for all of his arrogance, was not a particularly great heir of his famous grandfather. He wasn't that great a general. So it's very believable that he uh, would not have thought to put his men in open order to cross that stream right away. Well, no. But, well, since he'd been an imperial general, charging him across was the appropriate thing. They exactly. Should, they, should, they should have just kept on going. Well, particularly because he was a Spanish general. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, the, the the Spanish, remember, are actually the best troops of the time. They have the best infantry in the world mm -hmm. right now. Well, that, that's the reason why that some of the uh, local regimental commanders slowed him down. And said, "Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's a bad idea, buddy. <laughs> just kind of, just kind of, just kind of ignore that you've." Let, let him think you re you received the, the order. <laughs> Entirely possible. <laughs> just let him think you received it. Just do. The, the, well, yeah. Probably the professional, the, the professional NCO sergeants were the ones that stopped it. Uh, in all likelihood, yes. And the the officers that were in and mixed in there were still screaming and yelling. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Did I ever did I ever send you a that uh, picture that I found of a. Uh, of an NCO's baton? I don't think so. Um, yeah, so it's a, and it's from this period, and I believe it was Spanish. Mm -hmm. Spanish or Italian. Um, it would have been imperial either way. And in, carved into the baton are the mathematical tables to allow a, a field officer or a non-commissioned officer to know 
how many ranks and files you needed to make up formations of a certain size. Oh, cool. Hey, yeah, because because that was a big deal right now. Yeah. Hey, we had a new follower, uh, Jen Chaos Thirty Three. Thank you for following our channel here. Cool. Yeah. Hope hope you're enjoying the battle tonight, or at least may, may in the yes, the you know what's going on here with our charge across and our, our yep. massive scare when Tilly almost died. <laughs> more more, uh, more maneuver right now as the yeah. the Catholics and the Imperials try and kind of reconsolidate. So. Yep. yep. All right, so you got uh, this other wing that's sitting in Sosenheim trying to reorganize now. That's the, yep, that's where it is. Okay, first Those guys are under a rally. Okay. Before I forget, we'll, we're, at, we're activating Tilly. I, mm -hmm. but, but in the meantime, I'm going to try to change my formation to receive charge. <coughs> Okay. In this case, because I do have some other stuff. Or do, let me think here. Do I want one more turn in the rally and then do it when I have Tilly? That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to need Tilly to help me change formation. I think the guy's not, this Colonel's not that good. So I'm going to spend the time fixing these guys back, finish fixing them up. So we're first we'll take care of the Musketeers in uh, 1918, changes formation. Mm -hmm. Fix him back up, reform him. Okay, he's reformed and he needs to be marked moved. Okay, the double blocked infantry in 1817 will do the same thing. He'll reform and be marked moved. Okay, and the uh, my guy, my Schmidt guy here. He's just going to change his, mm -hmm. change his facing. Mm -hmm. Cause he can't move forward or anything. See, he's in rally. Okay. He's changed his formation. So he's marked moved. Now, technically. What happened? Oh, he, because he, he, that was move. Right. He moved, but he, now he's he took to formation hits. hits. Yep, that's right. Because he's in the, he's in that, that. Yep, that city. But that's okay. Well, okay. So he's back to uh, form. He's he's back to that. And is this guy? Let's see, I can't tell where the, my double infantry here. Yeah, he is. He's sitting in that. Yep, he's in the trenches too. But. He's just going to change. He's just going. He's going to open order. Okay. But he'll have to take a formation thing, anyways, too, right? No, not changing to open order. That's okay. a that's a reform action. Mm -hmm. That's not movement. Yeah, I should. The, that's what I should have done with that guy down yeah, there. Yeah, you should have should have open ordered him too. Yeah. But the, the, the he's an inexperienced colonel that got you know well, well and and it's i mean it's problematic right because if you moved him in if you put him in open order and then you moved him onto the bridge mm -hmm. um actually that's probably what you wanted to do well i can't move him forward he's in he's in rally no no but i mean later oh yeah right i should have moved um, him into open order and then moved him across the bridge right because otherwise he's going to take a formation hit when he moves onto the bridge mm-hmm Yep, so. And that's not going to be good. So I'll have to fix him. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, whatever. You guys can. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the problem with trying to move these kind of formations in this kind of terrain. Uh huh. You know, you basically what you've got there is a ruined village that the Protestants dug a bunch of trenches across. Mm hmm. And you're trying to move. A linear formation of pikemen and musketeers through that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. They're moved. they're not gonna they're not gonna be in formation as they do that. Okay. I, I moved Tilly back to where he was. Yep. Where he's going to be needed. Huh. For now, he may. Okay. And 
He's in open order now. Okay, let's go over to do some artillery shots. Might as well. Okay, we'll start over here with the 12 pounder in 1713. He's going back yep. to, to the 2014. Should be a plus minus two, right? He's four away, minus two. Yep. Minus two to the dyro. Come on. Nine. Oh, that's nice. That's the formation hit. Mm -hmm. Seven. I believe it's just a formation yep. hit, but let's yep. check. Yep. It is. It's yeah, just... it, it, it might have been a morale check a little bit higher. Well, it can't be. Not at the, not at the minus two. He's never going to get there. No, no. Uh, well, we'll take we'll take the formation. Yeah. Hit. But yeah, it's a formation hit. Okay. And now the three pounder will do the same thing, but he's going to be at a minus three. Yeah, he's a minus three. Four. I think it's a miss. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a miss. Three. Okay, the 12 pounder and 15 16 will go after the musketeer and uh 22 14. And he's one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven away, right? Which is uh minus one, minus three. Yeah, he's a minus three, nine, six. Yeah, that's a six, that's a formation hit. Yeah, let's start adding them up here. Yeah. Keep on softening them up before we while we're, while we're messing around in the town. Okay. Then the uh, twelve pounder and fifteen seventeen will go after the musketeer and twenty one fourteen one two right. three four five six six is a zero minus two. Ooh. Hey, look at that! A Get seven a formation broken on him. Mm-hmm. All right, now they're finding, I think they're finally finding the range. Yep, finally dialing it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, then that's it because I can't do anything else with this rally, guys. Right, right, because you're in rally. All right, so it's 9 o'clock. You want to go ahead and call it so it's a good stopping point? I think. Yeah, can... we got three turns in. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, after we got through the uh, the giant roadblock there at the town. Yeah, clearing the town, you don't have any combat anymore. So, so we'll just leave it here so we know it's that we need to reset it. Mm -hmm. And we are halfway through. Yep. Ah, oh, boy. And the span at least the Spanish are starting to see the other side. Oh, uh, yeah, the Spanish are across now. I mean, now Christian's kind of got to decide what he wants to do here. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some potential advantage to <clears throat> being able to move adjacent to you while you're in the stream. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, if, if I do that, I have to actually move my guys out of the fortifications. Because mm -hmm. i got to move closer to you. All right. And that doesn't make any sense. So, you know, they're basically going to sit there and wait for you to come. Now, I mean, Christian's got a pretty powerful force here. Oh, he, yeah, he does. He does. They're not going to be real maneuverable, but but they're not insignificant. Now, having said that, I mean, you're th these are uh, what the Spanish have are, are actual tercios. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're they're big formations. A lot, a lot, most time, yeah, on the troop sizes, you guys, your guys are kind of small. Yeah, you're, you've, you've got big. Well, what I've got are battalions, right? So uh -huh. my guys are in, in, well, you in could, a Dutch, Dutch derived. Mm -hmm. And we all, everybody's already linear with, formation, and everybody's got rid of all their uh, musketeer or light troops out of their formations. Right. On both sides. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what you do when you're mm -hmm. trying to deal with this kind of terrain. Is you dump the musketeers out and you try and push them across. I mean, you've got big musketeer formations here. Yeah, there's 1,500 musketeers detached in the Spanish wing alone. Mm-hmm. 
But you got to get through them if you want to get down to that Hawks Bridge box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try. Now, well, we have to not until he miraculously survived. That's right. Oh, That's boy. right. It's not over for the Catholics yet by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, boy. That, that, talk about a scare. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been really bad. Yeah, I think. But, yeah, I got I got to give Christian some credit for picking out not a bad position. Oh no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I enjoy this game. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, it is. I, I mean, it's it's really very entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, now, what's going to be what what's equally going to be interesting? I don't know if you saw it or not, but um, Osprey released this week. Uh, the brand new, their brand new atlas of the English Civil War, mm -hmm. uh, which is, ah, oh. uh, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, I I did uh, a, I, I did splurge and get issue eleven of the of Strategy and Tactics Quarterly. Okay, since it covers the Thirty Year War and has a big map in it. Uh, I saw that one. Yeah, I saw that one. I it's, should go grab that too. It's, it's, um, it's, I, I just started reading this, so it's it's good. And the map, yeah. but, but the map is really cool. <laughs> yeah, the map would be really useful, and that's what's so cool about this English Civil War game or mm -hmm. game uh, book. Uh, aside from the fact that it is, you know, it's a coffee table sized atlas. Mm -hmm. There are hundreds of maps of every campaign, every battle, lots of battles that I didn't even know about, mm -hmm. skirmishes. Oh, cool. Um, and then complete orders of battle. Uh, it, it is a significant work. Yep. Uh, really, really impressive. Uh, when you come over tomorrow, I'll show it to you. It's, mm -hmm. it is an impressive work. Um, so, cool. So I'll, I'll bring this to the map has all the, has all the major battles marked. Okay. And I see right, right Hosh is right there in, uh, and Hessen and, uh, yep. yeah, I'll have to, uh, I mean, it's only, it's only marking the major battles, and then it shows towns captured by Swedes, towns captured by Dutch, French, Catholic states, Roman states. Was half that's possible. cool. I mean, it's it's not it's it's, it's a real it's a it's, I guess it's uh, probably about three inches equals 150 miles. So it's, it scales not the, you know not way down to the, the nitty gritty, just kind of enough to. Yeah, but you get an overall sense. Oh yeah, you can see where the battles are. This is at least when you look at here, you can say, "Oh, that's where we're fighting at right now." Right, right. Yeah, you get the the big picture of it, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I may have to go ahead and spring for that. I mean, <laughs> far be it for me to not what? pick up a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thirty years I, war resource. I, I, figured, right? I, I figured I'd been behind the times on this one. <laughs> uh, I saw it. I just didn't grab it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like I said, I I saw it pick up. Well, it's even. I mean, I'm just looking at it now. The, the, the call, they have pictures in here, current day pictures of some of the cities. Yeah, it's only twenty bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, shows all that shows yeah you know, there's uh. hell it's almost worth it just for the cover art yeah I mean, the whole magazine's the 30 years war right yeah i pretty much have to get this i pretty much have to get this yeah. well i'll bring so it over. yeah i got uh i'll, I'll bring get it, that and i'll bring, bring it, it over yeah i'll bring it so you can get a, a sampling <laughs> yeah I uh, I also picked up from uh, was it War Games magazine. I ordered a copy of their uh, Don't Mind the Bill Hooks mm -hmm. 
which is uh, rules by Andy Callan for basically skirmish, small small actions during the Wars of the Roses mm -hmm. uh, for miniatures, which looks really cool. Cool. Um, so that might be worth. I mean, I may grab some six millimeter. I also just ordered about a hundred bucks worth of six millimeter from irregular miniatures uh, of Thirty Years War. No, ECW, uh, English Civil War, six millimeter. Yeah. And I just got my bases. I got a bunch of MDF bases today that are the right size for the Indeo Veritas miniatures rules. Ah. So get those painted up, but um, I've also got enough of those Wofun miniatures now. So mm -hmm. at some point when we're ready to take a break, we'll do some miniatures gaming of the period using some of those rules and some of the minis. Okay. Well, you ready to close out for tonight? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I think I'm going to try it. I've never rated a channel before. I'm going to try that. I don't know what this uh Start raid. We'll... And then we'll close out. Okay, we'll see. See what that does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All righty. Let's see. We go in the meantime. We'll. Okay, you're, you're, gonna, you're saving. Saving it right now. Okay, let me know when I can. Yep, it's saved. Okay. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Until next time. All righty. And let's see here. Let me get out of here. Quit. I oh, know I don't save the game. We're going to get out of here. Good here. And I'm going to shut down the stream.